What's up guys, it's JTB Gaming here, and today we're back with the 15th episode of our Cambridge United Road to Glory, and to start this episode off, we will be playing in the World Cup with the US Men's National Team. We are in Group F, and we've been drawn with Spain, Slovenia, and the Ivory Coast, so we should advance past the group stage. Looking at how the team will be lining up, we will be replicating the system that we use at Cambridge United as we use this 4-3-3 holding. We will not be concerned with our offense at all as we have Gorzin, Pulisic, and Wea. The only concern I have is center backs as we only have John Brooks and Carter Vickers. In the first match of the World Cup, we have a tough game against Spain. In the game between Slovenia and the Ivory Coast, they ended up drawing, so if we can get this win here, it will be extremely crucial. We will now get this first game of the World Cup underway. In the 37th minute, Gordon is dribbling at the keeper. The keeper deflects the ball away before it falls to McKinney, who puts it into the back of the net to put us up 1-0. That goal by McKinney would be the only goal of the first half as we go into halftime up 1-0. In the 57th minute, Pomikau dribbles around his defender for he lays it to Wea, who is able to put it past the keeper to put us up 2-0. At full time, we would go on to beat Spain 2-0. Looking at the match facts, we definitely dominated this game, and we definitely deserve to win. After that win against Spain, we are now top of the group. We now have our second game of the World Cup as we face Slovenia. If we are able to win this game, then it is almost impossible for us not to win the group. The team will again be lining up in that 4 3 holding. The only change is that I put Sargent in for Wea as I am looking to experiment a little. We now kick off that game against Slovenia. In the fourth minute, Gorson gets the ball, he plays it back to Sargent. He shoots, it goes off the defender and into the back of the net to put us up 1 nothing very early in the game. In the 16th minute, the ball is played out wide before McKinney gets the ball. He dribbles past the defenders and he cuts it across to the back post as Sargent puts the ball into the back of the net to put us up 2 0. In the 19th minute, Slovenia are working the ball on the edge of our box where they're going to play the ball in behind and as their player beats our defender to put it into the back of the net, making the score 2-1. At halftime, we are currently up 2-1. In the 78th minute, Gordson finds the ball out wide before he crosses it back post to Pulisic, who smashes it into the back of the net to put us up 3-1. It's full time, we would go on to beat Slovenia 3-1. Looking at the match facts at the end of the game, Slovenia had more shots on target, however, we were able to make more of our chances. Heading into the final game of the group stage, if we are to get a draw, that means that we will win the group. This is how we will be lining up for that game against the Ivory Coast. I have made two changes as Parks is in at center mid and Trusty is in at center back. If you look at the group stage standings, Spain just beat the Ivory Coast by five in the last game, so we definitely should be able to win this game. We now kick off that final game against the Ivory Coast. In the sixth minute, Gordon is dribbling into the box. He cuts it back before he puts it to Parks, who composes himself and puts the ball into the back of the net to put us up 1 0. In the 33rd minute, Adams plays the ball into Kenny, who plays the ball into Sergeant, making the run before he puts the ball into the back of the net to put us up 2 0. In stoppage time of the first half, Gordon finds himself in behind the defense. He gets into the box and he beats the keeper near post to put us up 3 0. At halftime, we are up 3 to nothing, meaning that we will win the group if this result holds. In the 50th minute, we have a corner. Gordon steps up to take it. He whips it in. It finds Trusty's head, who heads it into the back of the net to put us up 4 nothing. At full time, we would have gone to beat the Ivory Coast 4 nothing. Looking at the match back, it was a game that we completely dominated, and we definitely deserve to win 4 to nothing. After all the group stage games were played, we ended up winning three. We scored nine goals. We only allowed one as we had a positive equal difference as we finished with nine points in the group, meaning that we will advance to the knockout stages. In the knockout stages, we have been drawn against Poland. We now have that game against Poland. If we are able to beat Poland, that means we will either be facing Cameroon or Brazil. This is how the team will be lining up for this game against Poland. We will be sticking with that 4 3 holding as Brooks and Pomikal are put back into the starting lineup. 
We now kick off this game against Poland. In the eighth minute, we conceded a penalty. Kajic steps up. He chips the ball and sends Stefan the wrong way to put Poland up 1-0 early in the game. In the 11th minute, Piatek makes a good run in behind the defense for he gets the ball and beats Stefan near post as Poland go up 2-0 after 12 minutes. In the 39th minute, Sargent is dribbling into the box for he lays it across to Pomi Cal, who puts the ball in the back of the net, making the score now 2-1. At halftime, we were down 2-1 against Poland as Piatek scored 2 and Pomi Cal scored our goal. In the 50th minute, Brooks is skilled before the player gets in behind the defense as he gets the open shot and puts the ball into the back of the net, putting Poland up 3-1 now. In the 52nd minute, Sargent plays McKenney, who plays the ball in behind Pony Cal before he cuts it back and is able to curl it around the goalkeeper to make it 3-2. In the 62nd minute, Gordson is dribbling in behind the defense before he cuts it back to Sargent, who puts the ball in the back of the net, tying the game at 3-3. In the 72nd minute, Poland crossed the ball. Their player heads it to Pytek, who is wide open, and puts the ball in the back of the net to put Poland up 4-3. At full time, we would lose to Poland 4-3. Looking at the match facts, we definitely deserved to lose this game. However, we did still put up a good fight. After that 4-3 loss to Poland, we have been knocked out of the World Cup in the round of 16. After the World Cup, we will now get into the club season, and to start things off, we look at the overall of the team, we are now a five-star team as we have an 84-rated offense, an 83-rated midfield, and an 83-rated defense. For this season, we will be lining up in a 3-5-2 as we will have Diaz in goal, Hendricks at center center back, Dendonker on his right, Jansen on his left. We will have our new signing Torreira captaining the team at defensive mid with Lopez at left defensive mid. McAvoy will be playing left mid and Insaldi will be playing right mid. He is a youth player that I have loaned out for a while, and, but he is now a good overall. Gordzin will be playing our attacking mid. Omentuka will be up top and he will be joined by our new signing Abraham. Looking at the players I have decided to transfer list, I have transfer listed Paqueta because he no longer has a role in the team. I have decided to try to sell Omentuka as I look to bring in a big time replacement. I have decided to get rid of Murray as he no longer has the potential he once had. I have decided to get rid of Drummond as he just no longer has a purpose in the team and his overall and potential are also down. I've decided to get rid of Rodriguez as he does not have a high enough potential along with Guidi and Morgan. In that big replacement for Wamantuka, I've decided to sign Alexander Isaac. He's a tall, pacey striker who is good with both feet as he will be a perfect complement to Abraham up top. We now get into the Community Shield game against Manchester City. For this game, we will be lining up in that 3-5-2, as the only change that I've made is Wamutuka is out and Isaac is in. Manchester City will be lining up in a 4-3-3. They have not made many changes from last season, but this is still an extremely good team. In the 23rd minute, Isaac finds himself in behind the defense before he knocks it through to McAvoy, who puts the ball in the back of the net to put us up 1-0. In the 40th minute, Abraham plays Isaac in behind before he returns the favor as Abraham is able to curl it into the back of the net to put us up 2 to nothing. In stoppage time of the first half, Gordson dinks the ball over the defense for Isaac, who gets the ball and then puts it into the back of the net to put us up 3 to nothing in the first half. In the 64th minute, Manchester City work the ball on the edge of the box before they cross it in to an open player as he puts the ball into the back of the net, making the score 3 to 1. At full time, we would go on to win 3 to 1. As we goals from McAvoy, Abraham, and Isaac were just more than the goal by Manchester City's Sokic. The players now line up to get the trophy. Torreira, our captain, will be the one to lift as we win the Community Shield. Torreira grabs the Community Shield and he lifts it as we celebrate our first trophy of the season, and hopefully, there will be more to follow. There's a team picture as Cambridge United are FA Community Shield champions. Looking at the match facts after the game, it definitely was a close game statistically. However, we were able to make all of our chances into goals. We now go into another game where we could win a trophy as we are playing Atletico Madrid in the UEFA Super Cup. Atletico Madrid will be lining up in a 4-4-2. 
They have kept some key players as they still have Jan Oblak, Jose Marie Jimenez, Saul, and Joao Felix. We will again be lining up in this 3-5-2. In the 38th minute, Isik is played in behind as he uses his pace to make sure he gets around the defender and he puts the ball into the back of the net to put us up 1-0. In the 78th minute, Isik is dribbling in behind the defense before he finds Gordon, who finds Abraham, who curls the ball into the back of the net to put us up 2-0. In the 87th minute, Den Donker fails to clear the ball before the ball is played into Sol, who goes around Diaz and puts the ball in the back of the net to make the score 2-1 late in the game. At full time, we would go on to beat Atletico Madrid 2-1, as we, goals from Isik and Abraham were more than the goal by Sol. The players now go to celebrate and lift the trophy, as our captain Torreira will be the one to do so. This trophy will be the second trophy of the preseason for us, as this is an amazing way to start off the season. Torreira now picks up the trophy, and he lifts it as the team celebrates, as we officially have won our second European trophy. It may not be a major one, however, a trophy is still a trophy. There is the team picture as Cambridge United are UEFA Super Cup champions. Looking at the match facts at the end of the game, this was a game that could have gone either way. However, since we had more shots on target, we were able to score more, which meant we were able to win the game. This will be the second signing for the club as I have signed Mark Cucurella. He, he is a left midfielder as he will be replacing McAvoy as he does not have the potential he once had and he was bought for $83.8 million. As you can see, Cucurella will be inserted right into the lineup as McAvoy has been dropped. After all of our signings have been complete, we are still a five-star team. Our offense is now rated at an 86. We now have an 84 rated midfield and an 84 rated defense. Looking at our group in the Champions League, we've been drawn in Group F. We have been drawn with PSG, Anderlecht, and Dynamo Zagreb. We now host PSG in our first Champions League game. We will be sticking with our 3 5 2. PSG will be lining up in a 4 2 4. They have some very good players, and they play a very offensive formation, so this will be a really hard day for our defense. In the fifth minute, Gordon gets the ball. He plays it into Isak, who plays Abraham in behind the defense as he curls the ball around the keeper to put us up 1-0 early in the game. In the 23rd minute, Cucurella dribbles around the defense before he cuts it back to Abraham, who puts the ball into the back of the net to put us up 2-0. In the 27th minute, Isik finds himself in behind the defense as no one stepped to him. He gets a clean shot off and puts it into the back of the net to put us up 3 0 now. In the 41st minute, PSG worked the ball on the edge of our box before the ball is played through to their striker. He puts the ball into the back of the net, making the score now 3 1. In the stoppage time of the first half, their striker picks it up as he plays it to a striking counterpart who puts the ball into the back of the net as PSG make it 3 2. In the 87th minute, Dendonker is muscled off the ball before PSG find Mbappe, who puts the ball into the back of the net, tying the game at 3-3. In stoppage time of the second half, the PSG player is able to dribble past Dendonker and Lopez before it gets played into his striker, who puts the ball into the back of the net, making the score now 4-3. At full time, we would have gone to lose to PSG 4-3, as we completely choked a 3-0 lead. Heading into the final game of the group, we are going to be playing against PSG, and we need a win in order to win the group. We now travel to the Parc de Prince to face PSG in that final game of the Champions League group stage. PSG have made a few changes, however none of them are extremely significant. I have made one change as I have dropped in Saudi for Wog, as I look to defensively solidify the team a little bit more. In the 68th minute, Hendricks finds himself in the box for he plays Isik, who quickly turns and finishes to put us up 1-0. In the 71st minute, Isik is played in behind the defense as he uses his pace to beat the last defender and volleys the ball into the back of the net to put us up 2-0. In the 84th minute, PSG gives the ball into their striker. He cuts back and is able to curl the ball into the back of the net, making the score now 2-1. 
in the 89th minute, the PSG players dribbling on the edge of our box to replace the stri their striker in behind the defense as he legs Diaz to tie the game at 2-2. At full time, we would tie PSG 2-2. We definitely did not deserve to draw this game 2-2. However, it is not the end of the world. Looking at the standings at the end of the group stage, we finish second in our group as we won four, we drew one, and we lost one as we scored 18 goals and only allowed 10 as we had a positive goal difference of 8 as we finished with 13 points, just one behind PSG. In the league, we are currently in first as we have a three-point lead over second place Manchester City. In the FA Cup, we've been drawn against Blackpool as this should be an easy win for us. In the Carabao Cup, we have made it all the way to the semifinals as we face Sheffield United. In the round of 16, we've been drawn against Barcelona as that will be a very, very tough game. Looking at our transfers, we've sold Murray to Atletico Madrid. We have sold Drummond. We have sold McAvoy. We have sold Paqueta to Barcelona, who we will be facing in the Champions League in just a few weeks. We've also sold Morgan. We sold Soro, and we loaned out the youth player Alves. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see the rest of the episodes of this series, you can check out the playlist on the screen. And it's JTB Gaming, signing off.